Uh, hello everyone, uh, I'm Yun Yi from Quasho Technology, and I'm very glad to introduce our work uh, titled Adaptive Neural Ranking Framework uh, toward maximize the business goal for cascade ranking systems. Uh, first, uh, let me introduce some important settings and notations of cascade ranking. Uh, for cascade ranking system, uh, when an online request arrives, uh, the first stage M1 uh, selects the aids uh, from the entire inventory, uh, and then the second stage M2 uh, selects the aids based on the outputs of M1. Uh, this process continues until the last stage of the system decides the materials for explorer. Uh, and for the uh, important notations, uh, MI denotes the S stage in cascade ranking. Uh, QI denotes the simple space on, uh, of the S stage. Uh, FMOS uh, denotes uh, the order list sorted by the score of model M on space S in descending order. Uh, this, uh, this figure shows the organization of training samples in typical uh, cascade ranking system. Uh, we often down uh, sample aids from the entire space and letting one stage learn from its post stages uh, through learning to rank methods, uh, such as letting pre ranking model uh, learning from uh, the results of ranking models to maximize the traffic efficiency. Uh, for the notations of train site, uh, UI denotes the user of uh, the F impression of D train. Uh, AIG denotes the, uh, the G's aid corresponding to UI. Uh, VIG denotes the ground truth value of the pair UI and AIG. Uh, traditional learning to uh, rank methods such as rank night and lambda framework often focus on uh, the entire or top K order, uh, which correspond to uh, the ordered pair accuracy and uh, the NDCG metric. Uh, effect, in, uh, effect in cascade ranking is that a model capacity uh, typically increases from uh, the front to the end stages. Uh, that it may be impossible uh, for a stage to completely fit its post stage. Uh, so in many cases, the model capacity are quite insufficient uh, for simple capacity. Uh, we need to relax the learning target to make sure the optimization towards what we really want. Uh, sometimes uh, we may face another uh, situation that the data is uh, uh, simpler. Uh, since, the, since the drawn samples uh, may be in a very small amount. Uh, at this time, uh, a less relaxed target would be better. Uh, that's it's a new challenge for uh, LTR methods to deal with these different scenarios in cascade ranking. Uh, we need to optim optimize a target with an appropriately uh, relaxed degree. Uh, finding the most suitable learning targets uh, through trial and error uh, with handcrafted targets is highly uh, time consuming and labor intensive. Uh, another challenge is uh, mainstream uh, learning to rank methods are often designed for optimizing entire or top K order, uh, corresponding to NDCG and NDCG at K. Uh, that is maybe making optimizing uh, some relaxed targets. Uh, to address uh, these challenges, uh, we, proposed, we proposed the uh, Adaptive Neural Ranking Framework, uh, also named as the ARF. Uh, we, de we decompose the uh, relaxed target designing problem uh, into the problem of finding, a, finding an appropriate combination of sufficient and necessary condition and solve it by a multitask meta learner. Uh, for optimizing uh, the sub-targets, uh, we use permutation metrics to reformulate uh, the targets and borrow the differentiable sorting technique to achieve more appropriate end-to-end -end learning. Uh, let's see the details of the ARF step-by-step. -step. Uh, when the entire order is fitted, uh, we say the model meets the Oracle condition 
uh, namely the sufficient condition we mentioned. Uh, as we said before, uh, uh, the Oracle condition is too strict uh, for the cascade ranking uh, models. Uh, now we should consider what is really concerned in cascade ranking. Uh, we define a, a stage recall complete conditions uh, which includes a recall function family. When a specific M and K are given, uh, it corresponds to a specific condition. Uh, for a top K recommendation system, K is usually fixed. Uh, for each S stage, uh, if, uh, if the M equals to QI, uh, the system can, uh, can give the ground truth top K items. Uh, this is a sufficient and necessary condition. Uh, so, uh, so simply put, uh, we could use recall at M at K uh, uh, as the requirement of the learning target, uh, which is also intuitive. Uh, okay, uh, the next thing we have to consider uh, is whether the necessary and sufficient condition for recall is the best target. Uh, from the uh, experience of deep learning, a proper relatively raising the target may lead to further improvement. Uh, many works uh, have improved the effect through appropriate aux auxiliary loss design. Uh, in this figure, uh, the two endpoints are, are the necessary and sufficient condition and the oracle condition, namely A and B. Uh, each point be, uh, between them represents a target whose relaxed degree is also between zeros. Uh, the optimal target would be between A and B, uh, but to find uh, the optimal target through manual trial and error is impractical. Uh, we think that the gradient direction of optimal target would also be between A and B. Uh, thus, to address the issue, we convert the target designing problem into finding a proper combination of A and B. Uh, we can design socket analysis for A and B respectively uh, and adopt a meta learner to draw the combination of A and B in multitask, uh, multitask learning perspective in order to approximate uh, the optimization of the optimal target. Uh, okay, the next question is how to optimize uh, the two targets under deep learning, especially for the recall at M at K. Uh, although we can uh, make a variant of traditional method like, uh, like Lambda framework to build a socket loss, uh, this way has two limitations. Uh, the first is uh, the gradient multitude is hierarchic. Uh, and the second is the loss function is only a fixed uh, rough upper bound of the, of the NDCG like matrix uh, because the proof of the upper bound uh, relies on the property of the discount function of NDCG. Uh, this leads to two concerns. Uh, the one is the socket loss performance uh, may be not good enough. Uh, the second is uh, the misalignment for different M and K of the socket loss and uh, the target. Uh, this means we may get uh, the best recall at M at K by optimizing a socket loss at N at R, uh, but not at M at K. Uh, to construct a better socket loss, uh, we first give a reformulation of the relaxed target. Uh, let the following x and y denote uh, the origin and the sorted vector. There exists a unique permutation matrix P that satisfies y equals to the metamor of P and x. Uh, so, uh, so we can ref reformulate the uh, recall at M at K uh, as the following equation. Uh, the figure uh, in red bottom shows the calculation process. Uh, except the process of getting the permutation matrix, all operations are differentiable. Uh, thus, if we can give a differentiable estimation, estimation of the permutation matrix, uh, the recall at M at K uh, could be end-to-end -end optimized. 
Fortunately, uh, the research on differentiable sorting provides a way to construct approximation of the hard permutation matrix. Uh, for example, uh, neural sort uses the original input to directly construct the relaxed permutation matrix uh, through clever mathematical property. Uh, it has a controllable approximate error. Uh, based on relaxed permutation matrix, uh, we design a novel socket loss named l -Rinx for recall at m at k. Uh, the red bottom figure shows the calculation process of l -Rinx. Uh, we first calculate the dis distribution like the vector uh, of top k ground truth set and the top m set supported by the model. Uh, then we employ a cross entropy like the loss to optimize the consistency of these two distribution like the vectors. Uh, note that the distribution like the vectors are not strict distributions. Uh, we use uh, 1 divided by m as a scanner. Uh, to make sure each element should be no greater than 1. Uh, to sum up, our Rinx built on neural thought uh, is a controllable estimation of recall at m at k. Uh, it should be a more advanced socket loss than the previous methods. Uh, for the oracle condition, we employ a straight uh, forward cross entropy loss uh, named uh, L global to optimize the consistency of ground truth and the predict permutation matrices. Uh, as a practice of the ARF, we, uh, we have employed uh, neural sort as the uh, differentiable sorting operator and uh, employed the uncertainty weight method as the meta learner. Uncertainty weight method will uh, adaptively adaptively adjust the combination coefficient of the sub-targets according to the difficulty of learning targets. Uh, we conduct experiments on two public data sets. Uh, experimental results show the effectiveness and the generalization of our method. Uh, the ARF achieved the best results compared to the baselines. Our Rx is better than the baselines on recall metric, which shows L Rx is an advancement socket loss for recall optimizing. Another thing is uh, we conduct experiments to verify if L Rx has better alignment property than lambda framework. Uh, we use uh, different M and K to train different models uh, and test uh, each model under different M and K. Uh, so we can uh, draw heat maps as the shown figure. Uh, we can see that uh, the heat map of L ring X is more brighter on the line from left top to right bottom, uh, which indicates L ring X is better. Uh, furthermore, uh, we conduct experiment on our industrial scenario. Uh, the RF also achieves the best results. Uh, we conduct an online experiment to compare the ARF and the previous best method of our online system. Experimental shows that our method is also an advanced method in real-world cascade ranking systems and brings good commercial value. Uh, thanks for listening. Any questions? <laughs>